Oh, well, I've been gone for a while. And, uh, finally did a little something. Eh, Overwatch. Eh. Ah, back into the multiplayer only genre. You know, games like Titanfall and Battlefront and Rainbow Six Siege and Evolve. It's pretty controversial whether multiplayer only games are good or not. It's also pretty controversial to say if Blizzard could do a good one. To say they could make a game, you know, a hero shooter, similar to TF2. And the, you know what? Y you know what Overwatch is, okay? And in case you don't, Imagine if Team Fortress 2 and League of Legends had a baby. That That's basically, that's, that's my thing. Except instead of having 9 classes or 130 champions, you have 21 heroes at the current state of release. Can I just express how bullshit it is, the simple fact that, um, $40 on PC and $60 on console, because why not, Blizzard? I want to know their reasoning just so I can laugh at it. But other than the awkward pricing, how is Overwatch... And the true question, is Overwatch good? Well, of course, like we've already assessed, mul uh, o the Overwatch is indeed a uh, multiplayer-only game. So if you're super into story and stuff like that, this game certainly does have lore, but you're going to have to venture outside of the game to actually, um, you know, see the lore. Which is kind of sad, because, you know... I mean, it's okay if Overwatch does it, but if something like Destiny does it, then it's bad. I know. Not shooting on Destiny. What have I become? And the lore outside of it is pretty interesting. And all of that jizz, but who cares? First thing I will point out about Overwatch is, um, the art style. Ever wanted to plan a fucking Pixar movie? Play Overwatch. I know every person ever is gonna say, oh, Overwatch looks like it's straight out of Pixar. Which is a good thing, by the way, because Pixar, it, it's it's pretty. You hearing this? D do you hear that? Please tell me you hear that. I hate living in a base where there's pipes and poo comes into my room and it's just... <sighs> it's not stopping. It's not stopping. Yeah, let's just try to ignore that. So yeah, um, good, good art style and all. Kind of depressing how you have to venture outside the game to actually get some lore. And the gameplay in this game is on point. It's excellent. It's skill-based. There are a few balancing issues there, but it's a hero shooter. Of course there are going to be. It's impossible to keep something where you're all playing as something different on an equal playing field. And let me remind you that Overwatch is not the generic run around and just do random stuff type of shooter. Overwatch isn't Call of Duty in any sense of the matter. You can make the point, well, uh, what are you trying to say? Is that uh, Overwatch is more mature, huh? Because Overwatch is rated T and Call of Duty is rated M. Well, the fact of the matter is, in gameplay, Overwatch doesn't hold your hand. Well, Call of Duty doesn't necessarily hold your hand, but it kind of takes it easy on you. It's made for noobs, you know? Like, if you suck at something, you're good. But in Overwatch, if you don't get good, good luck. Because I'll tell you, I'm really bad at Overwatch. I'd be fine. Uh, as a beginner, you're going to be losing a lot. I mean, a lot. Like, get ready to get pounded. Hard. Really hard. All this water! What are they doing up there? There's so many mechanics to learn, and truthfully, I can't figure out what my main is going to be. I'm good at Hanzo, I'm okay at Genji, I'm pretty good at Mei, and I'm starting to learn Junkrat. I'm a defensive player, aren't I? It's a game that's really good, you see? Because a good way of comparing it to League of Legends is making the point that if you are countered in League of Legends, good luck, Chuck. But the thing is, with Overwatch, it's all about countering each other, in a weird sense. As you're able to switch your champions as more heroes. As many times as you want in a match without any real limit. And you can just, you know, do it. Which you probably won't do it that many times. Maybe once or twice a match. But it's all about countering what the other team has, you know. If you're getting demolished and you're running in as a reaper every time. Just getting destroyed each and every time. Then you're not going to keep playing as a reaper. Let's say a bastion just keeps wrecking your day. Then turn into Genji, and then you can just deflect it all back to him. It's that easy. And that is the real beauty in Overwatch, is that it's tactical. Very tactical. It makes you think. 
It doesn't hold your hand like Call of Duty or Battlefield. Battlefield is more innocent, just saying. It's just... It lets you do what you want. And when it lets you do what you want, you're either going to find a whole lot of success, or you're going to get pounded. This is definitely the game you have to get good at, and I appreciate that. Now we can stop talking about the gameplay, and start talking about the content value. Now, a lot of people find it pretty controversial um, if, you know... Oh, God, it doesn't have any other modes of the multiplayer. It sucks. Six out of ten would not bang. But, in my opinion, if you can get enough hours out of something without really getting boring, something that, sadly, a lot of games just couldn't pull off, Battlefront, Evolve, well, let's just say that you're not going to find a whole lot of content value in it. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and say that Titanfall, not the best game in the world, it's not that repetitive. The gameplay is fluid and fun. It's good. That, that's why it got a lot of replay value, and it was generally, you know, considered a way better game than Battlefront and Evolve. Same deal with Rainbow Six Siege. Rainbow Six Siege is a really deep game, just like Overwatch, and, well, I don't think Rainbow Six Siege is really doing as successful as it should be doing, but... Overwatch is a damn good game! Now, it's completely up to you. You see, if you think multiplayer-only games are retarded, and you're all about that story, then of course Overwatch isn't gonna be for you. Personally, I like to usually, a big factor of rating games for me is how much time I'm going to get out of it. And I've been playing Overwatch since yesterday, and I've already put a good nine hours into the game. I can tell I'm going to be playing it for a while. I'll probably get a good few months out of this game. And knowing Blizzard, they're going to keep updating it and updating it and updating it. I'm guessing that's why I like Bethesda so much. But yeah, I do genuinely think that how much time you're going to get out of the game and how much value you're going to get out of that time, that's what makes the game great. And even if Overwatch can be considered a little bit shallow, there's no denying. It's pretty damn deep. Of course, being considering the fact that it's a multiplayer-only game, I sadly find a lot more value in it than I would something in Halo 5 that indeed has campaign and multiplayer. Halo 5, a game that definitely had more content, and I can say the same about Black Ops 3. Black Ops 3 has a stupid amount more content than Overwatch does. But it just doesn't hold up. And that's why Overwatch is a damn good game. Overwatch, when League of Legends dies, which let's face it, it's probably going to happen within the next couple years, with the whole dynamic queue extravaganza, when League of Legends dies, Overwatch is going to be the next big game on the spot. And, uh, I think I'm okay with that. Because Overwatch is damn worthy of the title. Go buy the game. You know if you're into this kind of game. Good game.